same phone for four years and a bit. So it actually has a lot of photos and keepsake from multiple uh, boot camps. And I have pictures of us from the, the hike that we have in the middle of the week, the traditional hike up the, up the river, and how we just chill out there the whole day. Our concert together, and we're all sitting there <laughs> looking like we just had the best show of our lives. And of course, there's a whole bunch of photos that I never, you know, got to go through, but they're all still here. My phone has a lot of stories, so I kept all of them. So I remember kind of some of these events like it was yesterday. Late night photos of us going out there for uh, campfire and marshmallows. It's just all, you know, normal camp stuff that has nothing to do with music, but, you know, with the people that the entire day you've been grinding away and practicing away with, it's kind of nice and it, it gives a good opportunity for a break. I don't know if the camera got all of those. One of the most rewarding things about Thrive City String Boot Camp is watching the confidence and musical skill set of a musician grow after attending one of our seminars. From day one, many students realize the benefits that our camps offer, and as a result, they tend to come back for future sessions. Evern is one of these individuals, having attended six boot camps in a row. As he prepares to go off to university, we're happy that Evern was willing to sit down with us and share what his experience was like over all these years. When you first start taking lessons, you're hyper-focused on certain techniques or certain areas of music. It's kind of like learning a, a language at school or something. You learn small pieces of the puzzle, you learn little things here and there, some grammar, but then you're thrown into a conversation all of a sudden with a native speaker and you have no idea what's going on. And I feel like boot camp really uh, simulates that whole experience. People throw together sight reading party, body percussion out of nowhere, or um, a seminar that you attend that makes you want to try something. They put you in that environment and they show you that the application of all these things instead of just, you know, reading some theory on a page, but actually translating it onto your instrument and trying it firsthand is something to take away from that's very impactful towards personal playing. The biggest takeaway uh, from, from that whole experience for me is definitely how when you're practicing on your own, you're fine-tuning these own, like, smaller skills that just go into your own playing. Um, but when you're in this in this space where you know it's kind of everyone for themselves you're learning at different rates but you're achieving an end goal together it really it makes your ante go up you kind of rise to the occasion and it and it gives you a space where you can learn a lot in a short amount in my case i have attended multiple years of it and i've seen the perspective of the camp through you know the view of, of someone who was completely new and a, and kind of a, a, a beginner in a playing sense and in a social sense and then that evolved over the years i feel that there's a lot of insight not just from the teachers of course but from your peers and because of this whole mentorship type thing as someone who um who learned a lot from the experiences of those older than me in my first few years that um, I was given a lot of uh, advice in that camp from, from students and I was uh, taught a lot of things from people who were just a bit, you know, older than me and, and in it for a little bit longer than, than I was. And I found myself, you know, without realizing it, passing that on. And as I was starting to become the senior at that camp when I was asked about the same techniques or the same things I had trouble with, I was given, you know, the opportunity to explain it and it made me really think about my core process of learning and how I discovered those things in the first place. This coming year, I will be going and flying to Montreal for a undergrad uh, music degree in viola performance at Schuller School of Music. The camp gives a lot of opportunity and it depends on the individual how much you want to capture off of that. There's things that you do with just your peers in the camp, there's organized events, there's optional like classes you can ask for help, extra things, and if you're overwhelmed, there's a lot of space for breaks, mental recovery, physical recovery, and there's lots of help everywhere and hands-on 
and it depends on how your work ethic and how much you want to put into, but also how much your body can take and how you choose to pace yourself throughout the entire camp. There's a lot of classes and there's a lot of, of advice and people that you're going to meet and that may seem overwhelming at first, but it's broken up by so many unforgettable like events and memories like that you experience throughout these jam-packed two weeks that it kind of all feels like one massive dream and you kind of kind of go through it so just ride the wave and you'll see that it, it takes you somewhere very nice and, and no matter how much you choose to put into it you'll still get something out of it and it's very fun